Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Angela Hill versus Luana Pinheiro. Angela Hill, 16 wins, 13 losses, 3-2 and two in her last 5 fights. Probably on her best skid. I know she's 3-2, and two, but decision against Verna, Jana Dobro, out grappled, sure, won two in a row. Lost to Mackenzie Dern, just the best Mackenzie Dern that we have seen. And then she beat Denise Gomez. Gomes, who was absolutely on a on a streak there, minus one sixty favorite, thirty nine years old, five three with a sixty four and a half inch reach. Luana Pinheiro, eleven and two, uh, four and one in her last five fights, plus one thirty underdog, thirty years old, five four with a sixty two inch reach, two and a half inch reach advantage for Angela over Kill Hill. I really like Angela Hill in this matchup. I think she does so many good things in this matchup. She has five finishes by TKO or KO, but 11 decisions. I do think there's a possibility for a late finish, but I just think she picks apart Luana Pinheiro. I, I don't think Pinheiro has necessarily been the same since that. Like She had a really good performance against Rand, uh, Randa Marcos. Had a really good, or not that one, because that was a legal up kick. But she had a good performance against Sam Hughes. Gomes, Gomez, I mean, was a weird performance for sure. Um, and then Amanda Rebos, she absolutely had that fight. Had that fight. And then, just, and then just gave it away. Amanda Rebos is one of the most overrated women's fighter in the UFC. She's just so bad. Um, and she finds ways to win. So I guess good job on her, but whatever. But... Uh, Luana Pinheiro has power, not very well rounded with her power. She's not very, um, um, she's kind of one dimensional with her striking. You know, it, it, it's a whole lot of like hooks, straights. There's not a lot of like jabbing. She throws a lot of, uh, she sits down on the punches a lot, which has gotten her in trouble, especially in her last one and a fight that obviously she could have won. She was winning. Um, let's see. Luana Pinheiro, Angela Hill. Uh, da, 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 da. Strikes landed per minute 3.89 to 5.44. 41% strike striking accuracy to 50% as well for Angela Hill. Strikes absorbed per minute is 4.39 to 4.94. Defense is 62 to 61. Takedown six, uh, 2.36 to 0 0.73. Accuracy is 40 to 34. Takedown defense is 66 to 75 for Angela Hill. 0.3 to 0.1 for Pinheiro. Again, I just think Angela Hill has fought way better competition than Pinheiro, and we've already seen the weaknesses of Pinheiro. Angela Hill has, what is that, 24, 24 fights? This is her 25th fight. She's only finished two times in her career in the UFC and in her career in general. She's lost 11 decisions. She's won nine of them. She's been to 20 decisions. Only finished, she's only been finished, there's only been four finishes in her career, and it's 50 50. Two by two on the feet, two on the ground, two, two for her, two against her. So, again, I think she could absolutely overwhelm Pinheiro. I think as the fight goes, if she put if Angela Hill puts her combinations together like we know she can, she can tire out Luana Pinheiro and maybe get a finish in the late of the third round. But I like Angela Hill by TKO or decision uh, side bet you could do angela hill by you know tko or ko round three or two and three or uh, round three or decision whatever you want to do there also uh, play on underdog fantasy significant strikes for angela hill this is absolutely one that you want to do because pinero is not finishing angela hill no one's been able to and she's fought amanda lamos which Maybe she won that fight as well. Hit with a nasty front kick. Lupi Gudinez hurt her. Wasn't able to finish her as well. Pinheiro is not going to finish her. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.